हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ए सब्जेक्ट एंड थर्मल साइंस एंड द टॉपिक विच आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड द लिस्ट ऑफ टॉपिक विच आई एल बी कवरिंग इज थर्मोडाइनमिक सिस्टम क्लोज सिस्टम ओपन सिस्टम एंड आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम माइक्रोस्कोपिक एंड माइक्रोस्कोपिक व्यू ओके सो बेसिक डेफिनेशन वॉट इज थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इट इज ए साइंस ऑफ एनर्जी that concerned with the ways in which energy is stored within a body okay energy transformation mostly involves heat and work movement okay the fundamental law is the conservation of energy principle energy can be cannot be created nor destroyed but it can be only transferred from one form to another this is a basic definition now we have the thermodynamic system surrounding and boundary what are the system surrounding and boundaries okay so the region in space in which investigation is going on or small part of the universe to which you can apply the law of thermodynamics is called the thermodynamics system or we can say that a system is macroscopically identifiable collection of matter on which we focus our attention thermodynamic system is analog to free body diagram to which apply the law of mechanics like newton law of motion so in this diagram we see that uh, system outside wall is boundary and outside the boundary is the surrounding now what is surrounding surrounding the combination of matter and space external to the system that may be influenced by change in this system is called surrounding or environment what is boundary boundary is the thermodynamic system and surrounding are separated by an envelope called boundary of the system the boundary can be real or imaginary and may change shape volume and position and orientation relative to the observer it can be of two type adiabatic boundary boundary which does not allow heat transfer named as adiabatic and diathermic diathermic is the boundary which allows heat transfer named as diathermic now we have the types of thermodynamic system there are three types actually closed system or control mass system open system or control volume system and isolated system okay so what is closed system closed system as you can see in this diagram it is a system of fixed mass with fixed identity okay and there is no mass transfer across system boundary energy transfer can takes place into or out of the system example of system are cylinder fitted with a movable piston bomb calorimeter motor car battery etc like pressure cooker kitchen refrigerator ice cream freezer these are the closed system where heat and energy both cannot be takes place now we have the open system or control volume system it is a system of fixed volume volume cannot be altered mass transfer can takes place across a control volume energy transfer may also occur in and out of the system a control can be seen as a fixed region across which mass and energy transfer are studied an arbitrary region in space can be selected as a control volume there are no concrete rule for the selection of control volume but the proper choice certainly makes the analysis much easier the boundaries of control volume are called control surface and they can be real or imaginary example of uh, open system are motor car engine water wheel steam generator steam turbine etc then we have the isolated system what is isolated system it is a system of fixed mass and same identity and fixed energy isolated means no heat and mass can takes place no interaction of mass and energy as i have showed or energy takes place between system and surrounding an isolated system is like a closed shop in a busy market <laughs> that is a common example so uh, we can say that a system is called an isolated system when no flow of heat work and ma mass takes place across its boundary and one of 
basic uh, basic uh, example of a isolated system can be th thermoflux where we store our hot water and all in winter season when uh, the thermoflux when filled with substance and no mass is taken out of it then it remains hot or if you keep it cooled then it will be remaining closed other example may be gas enclosed in a insulated box Ex example okay now we have uh, homogeneous and heterogeneous system what is homogeneous and heterogeneous system based on phase change a system may be classified as homogeneous system and a heterogeneous system a phase represent a quantity of matter that is uniform throughout in physical structure and in chemical composition physical uniformity implies that the matter is all gas or all liquid or all solid uniformly of chemical composition means that the chemical composition does not vary from one part of the system to another an iron piece a liquid contained in a vessel or a gas a enclosed with a container in a mixture of gases represent one phase system a system consisting of a liquid and gas in two phase system of liquid phase and a gaseous phase likewise a mixture of solid liquid and gas constitute a three phase system okay the system consisting of a single phase is called homogeneous system the examples are ice water dry saturated steam exam etc mixture of ammonia in water mixture of air and water vapor water plus nitric acid and what a heterogeneous system a system whose mass con content is non uniform throughout it consists of more than one phase is called heterogeneous system example may be mixture of ice and water mixture of non miscible liquid water plus mercury water does not dissolve in mercury so mercury does not dissolve in water so it a uh, heterogeneous system water plus gasoline wet steam vapor in contact with liquid being evaporated okay now we have the properties of thermodynamic system what are the properties and measurable quantity that is used to describe the condition or state of thermodynamic system like uh, temperature pressure chemical composition the color volume energy etc these are the properties of a thermodynamic system uh, silent aspect of thermodynamic properties are its differentiation exit it depends on the on the state of the system it has a definite unique value when system is in particular state since thermodynamic property is a function of the state of a system it refers to as point function or state function okay and now closed system can also be defined as a system is of a non closed system when only energy flow takes place across the boundary but no mass flow takes place example like gas enclosed in a cylinder with a sliding piston is a example of closed system and we have the tank filled with gas a pressure cooker a closed refrigerant circuit etc open system can be defined as a system when energy flow as well as mass flow takes place across the boundary its example is uh, a system diesel or petrol engine in which the fuel air across the boundary of the system and work is obtained from the system now uh, i'll be telling about the internal and external properties of any thermodynamic system what is internal property internal property or thermostatic properties defined as the characteristics of matter within the equilibrium system it is measured by an observed observer at rest relative to the system examples are temperature internal energy mass etc okay what is the external energy external property sorry external the mechanical property is defined as the characteristics of either motion or the position of the system in a gravitational field it is measured relative to external datum okay its examples are potential energy kinetic energy or mechanical energy okay. now we have the independent and dependent properties independent properties are those property which define the state of the system 
y dependent properties are those properties which becomes fixed when the state of the system is defined by independent properties and we also have the adiabatic and isolated system what is adiabatic and isolated system a system is called an adiabatic system when no heat transfer takes place across the boundary whereas mass transfer or work transfer can take place across the boundary uh, we can give the example of adiabatic system like a gas turbine in which energy is supplied in the form of gas is obtained from work to rotate the generator okay uh, that's all uh, next uh, i will be coming with uh, some other properties of engineering thermodynamics those are system state property process cycle thank you